This is Lisa Morantz here at Morantz Ultrasonics and today we're going to be cleaning filters and we have some great examples of filters that were sent in uh, and over here I can show you what we've done already obviously the one on the left is the dirty one and the one on the right is the clean one and boy do these smell bad it's not just that they're bad looking but they also smell pretty bad you can really smell nicotine on just about everything um, but you can see we got them nice and clean we also have a different type of filter which uh, well I have to say has even a worse smell but you can see the difference before and after and uh, while this one is really caked on and you can see all the nicotine uh, here you can really see right through it so we're going to show you the process on how we clean these with the uh, M115 Mighty One, which is the centerpiece of the M115 Super System. So what you're seeing here is our pre-wash tank, which we did use to trial for a couple of these, but um, going under the assumption that there might not be a pre-wash tank to actually wash these. And th by the way, in the pre-wash, this is a heated uh, bubble bath like almost like a jacuzzi uh, that's going on here so it's a great way to knock off that top layer of dirt to allow the ultrasonic machine to do its work so this is the M115 which we'll be using and then we do use at the very end uh, a deionized rinse now this is our special rinse tank um, th these don't have to be rinsed this way uh, but this happens to be what we're using as a final quick dip rinse so uh, I'll show you that process and then when we're all done we're going to utilize our blow dry gun we're actually going to blow these dry and uh, you'll see that we're also using our dry right drying cabinet to not only dry these but we also have ozone in our drying cabinet so if there's any residual odor we try to utilize uh, the ozone cabinet to get rid of that Okay, so uh, I have a helper here today. Dwayne's going to be helping me, and this is the first filter we're going to be cleaning on the M115 Mighty One. Now you can see you could fit quite a few of these on here, or if we had a different racking system, we'd probably be able to do multiples of these at once uh, going in this direction, but we're just going to do one at a time. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the same chemical that's in the tank also as a pre-spray. So this is our Synergizer. You can see the label got a little dirty because we've been actually cleaning these things. Go ahead, Dwayne, while I'm talking about it. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and put a coating of this on both sides and then give it a little brush with a soft brush. Now, of course, if you're using the pre-wash, you don't have to do this. But if you don't have a pre-wash, uh, this is the best way just to help to loosen up some of that dirt so that when it hits the ultrasonic machine uh, we're getting a, a little bit of a faster cleaning so real quick on either side now another way to do this would be if you actually wanted to, to let these soak for a little bit in the synergizer I think that would be helpful uh, just let it dwell for maybe 10 minutes but you can see how that's loosening everything up all right, so I just want to point out, this is the temperature that we're working with right now. It's 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, typically somewhere between 120 and 140 is where we're going to operate for this. There is a heating system on the machine, so all you have to do is pick the appropriate temperature. Uh, and we're going to be utilizing this handle here to lower the pneumatic lift uh, with whatever objects we put on it, however many filters can fit on it, into the tank. So go ahead and lower that in. All right, now, uh, we're gonna turn on the ultrasonics, and that is, wait, 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 the foot pedal that's right here. The foot pedal operates the generator. Um, the generator is what's producing the electrical capacity to make the transducers in the machine work uh, that creates this cleaning action known as cavitation. Once Dwayne taps on that foot pedal, you won't be able to hear anything anymore.
Okay, so that was a minute worth of cleaning. So let's go ahead and raise the lift. And see how we did. Pretty good. Pretty good, let's see. All right, so there's a lot of little fuzzy stuff that the ultrasonics has brought out that's kind of caught up there on the surface. Um, typically what we'll do is we'll get that off in the rinse. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and just bring it to the next station, which is our rinse station. Now again, this can be done a number of different ways, uh, but we're going to utilize our, our rinse. Just go ahead and dip it in there. We don't even need to use the lift for this because it's not that heavy. Uh, just swish it around a little bit. And again, this is deionized water. It's demineralized. Uh, it's just about the best rinse you can use for for anything. There's no spotting with it, but honestly, for something like this, uh, you could probably rinse it with just about anything. Okay, we're all done with that. That looks good. That looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our blow dry gun. Now our blow dry gun blows warm, compressed air at a very high rate of speed. Um, we use this for a lot of different applications, but this is really ideal for getting some water out very, very quickly. Uh, honestly, you could probably just use the blow dry gun for these and that would be it. Um, it's not absolutely necessary to use the drying cabinet, but since uh, we have it and it is a fast and easy way to do this, um, I was just using, I was really skipping the blow dry gun and just putting them in this drying cabinet. So if, you ha if you're doing large production, this is a great way to dry, but for small production, this is good. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Uh, we're going to put it on high speed. This is a two speed blow dry gun. Now, just because we can, we're going to go ahead and put this into the drying and ozone cabinet. Go ahead and open that up. This is a convection oven. There's a tremendous amount of um, air movement that's in here. These bars in here are adjustable shelves. They can be moved any way that's needed. Go ahead and shut the door. And I just want to show you. So this is the reading that we're at right now. So right now where it's about 122, 25 degrees Fahrenheit in there. Uh, we've got a, a relative humidity of 16% at the moment. Now we're just getting started with this. So that will go down, the temperature will go up. Uh, and this is on a timer. It can run for up to 24 hours. The ozone's a nice feature. Uh, that gets any get rid of any residual odor. And there is uh, an interior light inside. Okay, here is our larger filter. And this is the one that really smells like nicotine. And it is... Let me take a good shot. I mean, it is pretty nasty. Turn it around. And let me show you the top here. Not, not a pretty sight and not a pretty smell. All right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our Synergizer solution and we're going to spray and we're going to brush. And again, um, for something like this, it wouldn't hurt to actually soak these in Synergizer ahead of time. Of course, if the pre-wash tank would handle that, but if you don't have a pre-wash tank, then just... Uh, pre-soaking them and or pre-spraying them is going to be the answer just to loosen up all this excess. 
All right, and just take the brush and go ahead and give it a quick brush over just to work some of that in. And this is a soft bristle brush. This is nothing hard. Now the other advantage of that pre-wash tank is so when you have all this initial dirt that comes off, it doesn't overwhelm the ultrasonic machine. The ultrasonic machine does work really, really well with extra dirt in it. So it's not that we don't want dirt in it, but we don't want to have to change it all the time. Uh, so the pre-wash allows us to get a lot of that excess off that won't make it into the ultrasonic tank. Pre-wash also has a filtration system on it, so it helps to keep that water uh, as clean as possible. So really you're changing all the tanks at the same time, uh, and, and that's pretty good. All right, I think, I think we got it. All right, go ahead and lower that down into the tank. All right, we're going to turn on the foot pedal, and again, we're going to go for one minute. Let's go ahead and bring that up out. By the way, this lift is just run by an air compressor. Wow, look at that. Pretty nice. That's a big difference. All right, let's take a look. Okay, with these, we found that we actually do need to spray and brush them again because, you know, we're working through so many layers. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just do that for a second time, just to finish it off. Now, the pre-wash really made this second one unnecessary, but um, if you're just using the ultrasonic machine, probably a good idea to do this a second time around. So we're just going to go ahead, uh, I'm not going to videotape the second cleaning, but I'll videotape it when it comes up out of the machine. So let's see how we did this time. Nice. Very nice. Look at that. You can see right through it. Yep. Nice and shiny and clean. Doesn't stink as bad as it did. The water smells, but this doesn't <laughs> smell. All right, let's go ahead and dry it off with the blow dry gun. Uh, for, sorry, first we'll rinse. Just go ahead and dip it in there. These are a little bit heavier, so it is nice to use the lift. Luckily, Dwayne's big and strong, but if you don't have somebody who's big and strong, then using the lift really helps for this part of it, especially if you're doing multiples at a time. Okay, that's good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and use our blow dryer again. 
blow this dry. We'll go ahead and we'll put it in our drying cabinet. Let's turn the light on. Push it all the way in there. There you go. All right, so now we can see what's going on. And the other ones have been dry for a long time, but we're just leaving them in there. All right, close that up. And that is how we clean filters with Marantz Ultrasonics. Good job. Before I end this video, I just wanted to show you uh, our smaller ultrasonic tank, which is known as the Bubba. It's the Z56 model. So uh, if you don't feel that you need the pneumatic lift, and I will tell you, it will come in very, very handy, but uh, if you wanted to take these filters and put them in and out of the tank, uh, I don't have the immersible packs down in here, but you can see uh, the size of the machine uh, is plenty big as far as the filters are concerned. In fact, let me grab one and place it in here so you'll, you'll see how it would work. All right, so just as a frame of reference, here's how the, uh, the filter fits down in, in the machine. Um, so whichever way you're going to clean it, you have plenty of space. So that is the Z56 Bubba. Uh, it is a little bit less powerful than the Mighty One, but it would do the job for you. It does have a digital temperature display readout. It does come with uh, a built-in heating system. It's a nice little portable system on wheels, so that is something else to consider.